Oh my days! Go, go, City! Go, City! Go, City! Bernardo Silva has caught our Lunin. City have taken the lead at the Bernabeu. It's the perfect start for Guardiola's team. Maduro Lunin, who has been nigh on perfect question, for Real Madrid. Area of Europe is known for it. But Are he's made a costly, costly error. Disastrous start for Real Madrid. Disastrous. Maduro. Manchester City are going for a back-to-back -back treble. He took a step. He took a step to his left. But even then, but even then, surely he, surely he should save that. Maduro. Now the Premters will think, oh my days, who is this Luden Giza? You know, what the hell? Dog shit player. But the truth is, he's been one of the best goalkeepers this season. Kamavinga, goal! Deflected. Kamavinga, 1 1 Real Madrid. Attention, Vinicius has found Rodrigo. Rodrigo's a lot more wisey. Rodrigo, Rodrigo. Goal! Real Madrid, 2 1. And this is what I'm saying. <laughs> You put, you, put, you put Rodrigo in that position, he's different than Vinicius. This is what I fear the most for Manchester City. Exactly what I fear the most for them. They're going to get caught time and time again. Pep is livid, but Pep, you shouldn't be surprised because we've seen it time and time again. Real Madrid have overturned the deficit already. Inside 40 minutes, it's Rodrigo off the left-hand side. It's a completely different player. Completely different player. Starts with a vertical pass by Tony Cruz. Incredible ball by Vinicius, we have to be honest. Uh, but from here on, this is, my, this is my thing, what I've always told you guys. It takes a deflection. It takes a deflection. But, but, you invert the two of them. If you put Vinicius here, Rodrigo the other side, Vinicius would have missed this one. He's never scoring. 2-1 Real Madrid. Amori. And then that's the next, exactly, that's the next point that we haven't really touched upon today. Manchester City have only beaten Manchester United, if you want to consider them a top team. Philip. Mado, 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 where there is Phil Foden. Holy mother of God. The chat has been vilifying him. Well, there he is. Mador. Just like De Bruyne has done at the stadium before. Last season, especially. Philip Foden. Mador. Make jogador. 2-2. Two, two. Holy shit, man. Wow, 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 wow. What have we just seen? <sighs> That's as good as it gets. It's one thing doing that against Aston Villa chat, but if, if you're going to do that against Real Madrid, there's nothing anybody can say about it. No, nothing, bro. Nothing. Nothing. What the fuck? Holy shit! Oh my days! It's another screamer! This tie is over! The defending champions have done it again! They called him a flop! Well, call him a flop now! On his weak foot! What the fuck? Holy shit! But oh, The Bernabeu stun! Nah! What have I just seen? No. I mean, again, you can nitpick chat and be like, oh, they should have closed him quicker. But we've just watched two outrageous goals, man. Outrageous goals. There's been complaints recently that we're not seeing enough long shots in modern football. Well, how about that on the grandest stage of them all? MC Mato.
Go! Oh my days! Valverde, we're still alive! What a game! I'm worried! Come on, man! Holy shit! We were saying when has Valverde scored the last goal? This is a freak of a football match! It's 2022 all over again! You cannot predict this! Valverde with a missile! Oh, he hit that clean! Oh, he hit that clean! FIFA L football, man! Holy shit! Now, but this is a crime that both of these matches were won at the same time. Valverde's hit that clean. Again, it's memories of that first leg from 2022. That one was at the Etihad. It's Golasso after Golasso after Golasso. How can you not love the sport? How can you? How can you guys play that garbage? Just play for fucking losers. Finishes 3-3. At the Bernabeu, 2-2 at the Emirates. Ancelotti is not happy with the fourth official. Wow, where do you begin? Where do you begin? Viva el football indeed. I mean... Bellingham is still not happy with the referee. City are happy with this. They'll take the draw. Of course they would. But honestly, on the basis of things... I think a draw is definitely a fair result because Real Madrid had a shocking second half. Shocking second half. What about in the Arsenal game, chat? Who do you guys think was better in that game? You got plus 11, two draws. I've missed out on seven points and I've missed out on 11 points, man. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bayern were better. Really, Bayern were better than Arsenal. Damn. Looked pretty even from, from, from what I was catching. Bayern were so better. Oh shit, really? Well, the stats, the stats, the stats usually don't mean much, but... We'll, we'll see if we can catch the second one. Wait, so you, what was the stats? 2.0, yeah, but this is heavily inflated by the, by the penalty, bro. Now, Arsenal had more shots. I mean, it's tough, to, it's tough to judge a game on statistics if you weren't watching it properly. Or to play for, though, for sure. I mean, ignore the ratings, innit? I don't know how the fuck all the guys got man of the match. Game was pretty even. Look at this. Six goals from 0.63 and 0.83 XG. This was a throwback game of football, man. A throwback game of football. The problem for Real Madrid is Chua many suspended for the next uh, game. So I don't know who they're going to play center back. Real Madrid second half, they struggled. They struggled massively. Obviously, C City, City are, are clear favorites. No denying that. No denying that. They're clear favorites. We know what they've done to Real Madrid at the Etihad. But I do think... City are a bit worse than last season. Real Madrid are a bit better than last season. Militao is back. Bro, Militao has played just two minutes. He's played just two minutes this season. Like, guys, this isn't like your freaking garbage-ass football game. This isn't like you just apply a healing card and all of a sudden the player is perfectly fit as though, he, as though nothing has happened. The, 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 real, real football does not work like that, you imbeciles. Bombato from MC, great game. Three goals at the Bernabeu with two and many out for the Etihad. I'm, at the Etihad, I'm feeling confident. MC is feeling confident and yet again, MC predicted correctly the game. He said a draw and a draw is what happened. Remarkable football knowledge. All to play for indeed, sir. You'll definitely take the draw. Look, chat, is it fair to say, is it fair to say that Guardiola outcoached Ancelotti or not? I mean, in the second half, do you think Ancelotti's tactics struggled? Do you think Ancelotti failed to adapt? Because to me, it's like Guardiola made the necessary adjustments in the second half. Ancelotti done fuck all, no? No, no, yes, no, yeah. Haaland touched the ball twice. Yeah, keep moving. He touched it 20 times, but unlucky, bro. Next time, man.
Next time, look at Alan's stats. He touched the ball 20 times. What do you want to see? You guys pick on Haaland again when he's literally true one-on-one -on -one and they don't play the ball to him. Bernardo never passes the ball to him. Never. De Bruyne is the only one that passes the ball to him. What the hell do you want him to do? Nimwitz. I can't lie. Arsenal had to win today. They ain't making it out away to Bayern. Remember, Bayern had no fans in the stadium and the atmosphere was quiet as hell. I don't know, man. I think it's all to play for. I think it's all to play for. But like Bayern, Bayern are not the team they were in the past. And if they're the team in the past, that's uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, let's quickly look at the the Saka one. Uh, this was a big, big debate. So, is this a penalty according to you guys? Nah, that's a, that's a disgusting dive, I can't lie. He kicked him. Saka literally kicks Neuer, bro. That's crazy. What the fuck? He just kicked him. Correct decision. The scary thing is if he doesn't do that, he's got an open goal. He's got an open goal. I don't understand what goes through footballers' hands. You're not, if you're not, like, if you do this in the non-VAR era, I can understand. But you tell him you're not going to back yourself and you go to kick him? That's a horrendous decision from Saka.